Oh, wow. And Alex joins me now <laughs> alongside his new fiance. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I, it's lovely to have you both here today. And we know your story very well here on This Morning. Um, but if there's anybody that, that didn't see the last time you came on, just to explain a little bit about how you found yourself in this situation. Uh, so, um, the back end of 2013 in November, I contracted what I thought was a common cold. Uh, and it turned into uh, a flu, which then led to strep A, right. um, which we had no idea what that was at the time. Mm. And then about two weeks later, we found ourselves undergoing amputations, um, arm off, legs off, and then six months in hospital yes, with facial disfigurement. Yeah. And, uh, and for you, Lucy, uh, we've heard Alex's point, point of, of view from, from that all happening. Mm. W what about you? What did you notice? He just had flew for a few days it was just um if i think it was if it was sort of july we would have sort of questioned it because because it was november it was just flu type you know he was just he was still eating there was no he was still going to meetings he was still you know doing some work and things so it was just basically man flu and you've said and you say in the documentary that you the there the was an element of guilt you yeah. think if and there's always going to be that if mm. only if only if only i i think there was sent be. him earlier mm. to the hospital yeah, he was a grown man, you know, and, you know, every time I said to him, you know, go to the doctors, he was like, no, it'd be fine, it'd be, you know, it's okay, and he would, you know, do you remember me saying to you? We, I don't think we could have done it any other way, mm. in hindsight. Okay. I don't think there was a point where you would have thought, because it was so quick, it was within an hour. Yeah. Exactly. The doctors yeah. have said, yeah. well, if you had come down here, we'd have given him a couple of paracetamol yeah. and sent him on his way, because yeah. we yeah. didn't know what it was either. No, yeah. never even heard of it. I hadn't heard of it. I didn't know what it was mm. at all. Um, the proposal, to be able to be talking about this now, is wonderful. It was actually a big part of your life and played quite an important role in events also, because you were, during the relationship, pretty much asked him every day to marry yeah. you, to which the Constantly. reply was always... No, no, no. no absolutely not. <laughs> no. So when, at that moment, when you were in the coma, and you were being woken up to come back round, you were asked to ask him a question. Mm, if he had brain damage or if he had problems with his spine, to ask him a question that would relate to our relationship. And something said, that only you got... That yeah, you that he could just shake his head to or something. And I said, will you marry me? And he said, no. I said, no, he ain't got brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> he's absolutely fine. Yeah, that, that yeah no, he's fine. So how, how did this turn around then? How, how come you popped the question? I think after all those months... Be nice. Uh, of course. Okay. <laughs> after, after all those months, I think, um, you know, it could have been so, so different. You know, I, you know, I might not have been there. Um, and I think I realised that she stuck by me and was incredible through the whole process. Still is incredible now, you know. And I thought, you know, do you know what? I, I have to marry her. It was, either, it was the right thing to do. Oh, did you gosh. think of saying no? I bet she did. I did. <laughs> did you? <laughs> <laughs> you, you said that this is that, that ever going through what you've gone through has together as a couple it's strengthened. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. In what yeah. way? It's just given us balance, time together. You know, we worked incredibly hard before. You know, I spent a lot of time at work, and it's given us balance. And we think, talk yeah. more, we laugh more. Mm, I think it made us realise what is important. I don't see it anymore. I don't see that he doesn't have arms and legs anymore. So it doesn't. And he's still a bloke. He still does my head in. He still drives me insane. <laughs> there you go. There no is more, no, no I tell you, there's no sympathy there going on. <laughs> no. One no. of the um, one of the aspects that you discussed the last time you were on was the recognition from your son, yes. um, and that it was very difficult because mm. because he didn't know really who you were. Were you still the same person? Absolutely. Yeah. It was a, it was an awful period for me because I was a, a stay-at-home father before I fell ill, mm. so I had the first two and a half years with him solidly, and it was fantastic. And we had a very close bond and then all of a sudden you're thrust into something that which you have no control over and all of a sudden your your face is completely unrecognizable mm. and for a little boy to look at that having seen his father upright legs arms looking normal mm. to looking very active hands-on uh, absolutely yeah and i loved it and it was very hard i think for the both of us i think we both struggled with it and how, how are things now yeah he's great now yeah completely fine with it you know so it's a huge amount of money and we're constantly ongoing trying to fundraise for that um, and I'm sure at some point we'll get there, mm. but it's a, an ongoing process. Was there any hesitation letting the cameras into your house? Never. Never. I think we decided quite early on that we wanted to yeah. show Sam have something for him. When he gets older, when he, you know, he meets 
when he's 20 and he had something to show him what actually happened and who was important in his life at that point. Mm. You know, his granny's on there and things like that. So and the really... filmmaker has now become almost like a member of the family. He is. He is very, yeah. very good looking guy. Great very guy. happy to have him around. <laughs> yes, Lucy likes him Absolutely. an Absolutely. He's lovely. And, uh, very shy but lovely. But this is, uh, <laughs> this you say has brought you even closer together and we saw in that clip there there wasn't a moment where you thought I'm, I'm getting out of this. Never. In a an actual fact it has brought you closer. Yeah. Never, I never even thought about walking away. You know, very good friends, you know, question me about me staying there. You know, and, Have they? and we're really glad. Absolutely, yeah. It was the, yeah. the right thing to do. It was the question that I didn't want to ask. You know, because in my situation, I, you know, if I'd have heard, no, I can't do it, I would have been completely broken. So, you know, thankfully we had friends that did ask the question, and thankfully Lucy stuck by me with it. Mm. There was something that you said that somebody said to you that you have to work out the why when you're in your darkest moment yeah. and you're thinking what's it all about why why am i here you have to work out the why and then the how you'll just endure the how and, Absolutely, it'll, and yeah. it'll come along and i read that and i thought gosh that's how, how true and how brilliant actually yeah it was in a book um man's meaning to life i think by victor frankl and as i read it i thought uh, that's so accurate to what we've gone through so what's your why lucy and sam yeah and the how is all this which is now is you know, we can we can cope with. It's uh, always a real pleasure to have so you. So lovely. Thank you so Thanks. much for coming. No, no, thank you. Oh, thank Good you. luck with the fundraising. I know it's a thank huge you. task I just know. to get you on your feet. Yes. So, uh, so the very best of luck with that. And thank there you. is thank a trust set up as well. Where there is, yeah. Um, the, so that it is the extraordinary case of Alex Lewis. It's on Channel Four at nine o'clock. That's tonight. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Brilliant. Yeah. Thanks very so much. much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.